So what are you doing with this car? Ryan doesn't know. You taking the Hyundai Guinea <laughs> with the rims? Hyundai <laughs> I will say this thing doesn't run very smooth. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryan. Ryan's never taken good care of this car. It's amazing. It still runs. When I turn, there's a clicking noise. <laughs> oh gosh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, it's, don't it's turn too much. Left, it's like. Oh, the tints. I will say the paint is incredible though. <laughs> they did such a good job on the paint. It's just such a bad car. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious, guys. Make sure not to tell Ryan that we were using his car. And just like that, the monster truck is done. Yes. I mean, it's still got the little wheels on it, but... Oh, look at this thing. squeaks on it looks good look at that she's moving you can see all the mechanics under there rotating it's so sick most of the time i'm driving because it's so fun to drive but it's also really fun to watch somebody else drive especially when it's got little wheels yes, yes. <laughs> Owning a monster truck is an absolute dream. This thing is so awesome, and it looks so funny on the tiny tires. Sometimes it breaks down on us, but when it works, it's the absolute best. Not everything was cool because I went out a few hours later and saw that the forklift was destroyed. What? The, the door exploded. Like, I don't know what happened. Is there any security footage? Did it look like this when you came out? Yeah, I've been like cleaning it up, trying to see what all broke and see if I can find like a sign of what happened. How much is that gonna cost? It looks like it's... I just checked the website. I think the glass is like 300 bucks. So why would it have broken? And maybe we just run it with no... for a while? It's kind of nice weather for it. I can... I could probably run it for a little while like this if I can... I've got to get this sensor out of here because this has to sit like this, otherwise it doesn't work. It doesn't look like this is really meant to break that often. Do you think it was just a kind of natural? Or do you think it was like a vandalism case? I don't know. That's really weird. Yeah, uh, it's really, really weird. It seems like this guy like busted too. Something <laughs> flew up and hit it. Something had to have flown up and hit it. That's, that's all it could be. Or falling down. Or I guess falling down. I mean, where's the thing then? I don't know. Uh, you know who did this? Fronty. Fronty. <laughs> he was running around with a paintball gun all day yesterday. But I well, guess, that's I our piece. culprit right there. Pronti. And on top of all of that, I get back to the house and I realize that my car is now broken. It is dripping oil really bad. It's smoking a little bit and this could be a super expensive fix. That is not good. The car, my Porsche guys is completely, that's a, lot, that's a lot of oil for only a couple hours. I don't know if I can drive it. That's bad. Bro, that's really bad. I need to go. So I don't know if I should just drive on it. I'm gonna call Matt, that's not good. Just one more thing on my plate. Boys, <laughs> let's see if there's any warning signs. Close the door. That seems all right. Let's go talk to Matt. Porsche's got a bad oil leak. Bad. Oh Porsche. my gosh, it's soaking wet down here. Oh, it's put like big puddles. Oh man. We could at least add two puddles worth of oil. Oh uh, yeah, just two puddles. <laughs> oh, I love when it says that oil level information unavailable. Loves to say that. Yep. I can just add, you know, a couple puddles. Yeah. Give me a splash or two. You think it's just getting old and like it's, I should just kind of get a different car or? Yeah, I mean, I can take this one. <laughs> well, I mean, I, mean, I gotta it's, sell it's it. It's old, it's not worth anything, you know? Oh, it's I mean, smoking, it's... that's not good. No, this is bad, guys. Look, that should not do that. I think it might, it might blow. If you, if you guys know anything, when you play GTA and you crash your car up, so it's a smoke first and then it blows. That's what this is doing. Oh, there's a gear right there for the chain. That's interesting. All right, so we got- Just a little- Like, that's like half a puddle, maybe? That's probably- That was like, that was definitely like a full puddle. That seemed like uh, what you saw on the ground. Well, it's nice to have a whole Team Rar, you know, <laughs> car shop in yeah, the backyard, exactly. right next to the free gas station. <laughs> Comment down below what you think happened to my car or if someone's trying to prank me. But now it's time to off-road the fire truck. All right, so car's about to start up the fire truck. Apparently, once you start driving it, the plug shoots out. So we're about to test that. <laughs> the whole wall. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna drag the whole wall out right here, so we'll see. And here comes Andrew. He's also gonna see the whole wall get ripped apart. <laughs> Oh, auto eject right there. Okay, we'll test it. Yo, I'm kind of scared actually. So maybe it's as soon as I hit the starter. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh! Oh, wait, plug it back Hold in. Hold on a second. What? Oh. All right. Hello? Plugged it back in. All right, I'm gonna get close to it this time. Let's Three, see it. Three, two, one. Oh! Cool. That is sick actually. Auto eject. Oh. 
got the lights on. Here it comes. Yo. <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing is huge. Oh, oh my gosh. This thing is huge. So this is our second fire truck that we have now at the Timor house. What's going on? Is he stuck again? So we're taking the fire truck into new, never before been territory. <laughs> we actually had to trim the trees back. So that's why we couldn't get there. A lot to look out for. This thing is just so small. So this is the tree we cut. This is one of them. Uh, you're good. Yeah, that was actually pretty easy. Now I'm impressed. So now we are in new territory. Fire truck on the lake edge. Ocean from fire trucking right now. Look at Andrew laughing over there. <laughs> Look at this little joy pop. <laughs> They're joy popping in the smallest vehicle, or we're joy popping in the biggest. biggest. <laughs> Alright, we're like halfway there. We gotta keep going down the lake. And so far, so good. We're threading the needle up here. We're gonna be real close to the shore. So we gotta hug this tree. Oh boy. Otherwise, we might like fall into the water. Oh. That was pretty easy. I gotta say, that, Actually, that was easy. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, now we gotta climb this hill. This is where it's gonna be a little this is bit. Interesting. Got a little bit of an hill climb. <laughs> hill climb with the fire truck. Unbelievable. That's pretty cool. All right. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. We made it! What's up, Carter's Life? We're out here at the Koi Pond. We are currently draining it. You can see the water level is way low. We're almost to the bottom. You can see some of the bottom over there. We've been out here for days, draining it, scooping it, dredging it, pulling out all the dead leaves. We found some crazy stuff down there. Accidentally caught a few fish. Oh, actually, speak of a fish right there. Giant koi. Okay. And so basically what we do is we throw the pool net in there, we shovel and we scoop and we get a bunch of this stuff. We've done like eight of these baskets full of just gross slop. Everything that falls from the trees that collects in there, we're pulling it out and you can see the drain. We're pumping right now, it's flooding the path and just flooding the yard. Once we get it all cleaned out, we're gonna fill it up with fresh water. We're gonna put in the right beneficial bacteria and hopefully it's all clean. That's the goal, but right now it's kind of looks a little nasty. Cosmic pops, cotton candy. Tastes really good though. Does it actually? <clears throat> no? I don't like cotton candy. Really? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm gonna get a little <clears throat> piece of this. Oh, oh, don't make a mess, stove. Oh, <clears throat> tastes good. Oh, that tastes delicious. Yeah. 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 Lucky Charms marshmallows. Mm, yeah, actually. Yeah, that's it. That is delicious. <laughs> Y'all tripping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you try this one yet? Nah. Cherry cola. Cherry get into cola. It? Yeah. If it's candy, I have to try. Oh, of course. Yeah, Cotton the candy. Professional over here. The, yeah, the professional. <laughs> All right. Well, it's melted, so it looks ridiculous. But how's that one? It's trying really hard. It tastes like soda. And it kind of does. Kind of it like... tastes like white chocolate rice krispie. White chocolate. <laughs> oh yeah. You hear that? Oh, I can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and we are done. We got one hose over there filling up. Another hose. This video really doesn't do it justice what I had to do to get in there. I mean, we were deep in the mud, scooping. We found dead crayfish, dead fish, all kinds of nasty stuff. But we're filling. I'm just giving you guys the highlights. You can see I'm pretty dirty. We're filling though. A few days later, the koi pond is looking amazing. Guys, look at the clarity, look at the color. It's blue. The koi's are everywhere. Tons of them in here. 